Hello, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about Hike Vision and EVR network setup. As you can see, I have my EVR already working. It's connected here to this monitor via HDMI cable, but it's also connected to the network. Here I have a LAN cable that goes to the router. So the NVR can have an IP and can connect to the network. So I can see here on my screen, as you can see, I have a computer connected here and I can see the image from the NVR because I'm using a web browser and the NVR is connected to the same router as the computer is, okay? So back to the NVR, what I have to do to give the NVR an IP is just use a mouse, connect here to the NVR so you can have this menu. So here on the screen, Again, this is the monitor connected to the NVR directly via HDMI cable. And I have my mouse. I right click, come to menu. Here, just draw my pattern that I draw before so I can have access to the menu. Configuration, network. At first, if you don't know how to give your NVR an IP, you can come here to DHCP, enable DHCP. Okay, the router is going to give the NVR an IP because, again, I have the, the LAN port here connected to my router and the router knows how to give the NVR an IP. So when I hit apply, now the NVR sends the message to the router and the router gives an IP to the NVR. As you can see here, it gave this IP 192.168.0.120. That's for my network, for yours could be different. And here is the subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. You don't need to understand that. That's a little bit technical, but your NVR already got this from the router, okay? And here is the default gateway, 192.168.0.1. That's the router's IP. So now the NVR knows how to reach the router and through the router, it can reach the internet. And another one that's important here, another IP is the DNS. You have the first one and a second one. So this is also given by the router, okay? Yours could be different here. So now you have your NVR with an IP, okay? Now you know that you can use this one. You can just come here, disable here, for example, the DHCP and apply. Now your NVR is going to use this IP like manually assigned. Okay, so every time you're going to have the same IP address, or you can change if you know uh, the scheme of your network, the IP scheme, you can change here. In my case, for example, I can use 245 because I know that's a free IP on my network. It's not being used for another device. So I'm using this one, okay? Then hit here, apply. And now I have manually configured my NVR. So it's working. So back. Here, I have the image from my NVR. And on my computer, I can come in here and use a web browser and type the IP address. As you can see here, I have 192.168.0.245. That's the IP address of the NVR. And enter my username and password here, okay? I mean, the username and password for the NVR, okay? So it's working, I just click here and select a camera for example camera number one let me just change here the substream and here we go i have my camera working through my nvr i can have more cameras i have a second camera here for example already connected to the nvr also via the lan port so basically i have cameras connected to my router and also the nvr connected to the router so i can have everything here working okay so that's the basic principle of using an IP address with your NVR. And if you want to understand more, there's more video here in the channel. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next one.